What's up everybody, I'm Eric Porter, and today I'm gonna to take you for a tour through my backyard riding setup. Backyard riding setups are super popular these days, which is awesome. Tons of people are starting YouTube channels, building in their yard, professional riders are putting stuff in their yard. It's pretty awesome to see. It's something I grew up wishing that I could have, and that was basically my dream growing up. I didn't think it was gonna happen, and then when I was 33, I think, I finally, uh, everything fell into place and we were able to get this uh, piece of property outside of Park City. We got an acre here and uh, this is where I'm raising my kids and uh, live here with my family. So as a professional rider, I needed a place to ride without having to drive so that I could take care of kids, get them off to school, daycare, whatever. And then I can come out here in session and keep my skills up and have fun, have a place to film and have a place to have my friends over. I don't have time anymore to be driving to the good riding spots. When I was growing up, I was looking up to Fuzzy Hall, Matt Berenger, uh, Kurt Voris, Jeff Lenoski, some of these guys that had these amazing backyard riding setups. So that was always my dream that I was always working towards. Oh, what's up, Juno? That's my dog, Juno. Juno, come here. What are you doing? She's pretty happy about this too. I got the sweet trout collar there. Fitting the mountain dog lifestyle here. Take her out fishing with me. So back in 2011, I finally started to make it happen. And I'll take you to the first jump that I put in. It's a little bit different now, but uh, I've got some pictures of uh, when it first went in so you can see what it really looked like. Basically, my neighbor to the back, he was moving a bunch of dirt and I saw an opportunity. So I asked him if uh, I could buy some loads of dirt off of him. He was nice enough to just dump, I think it was five loads of dirt, which we've added a bit to now. But basically this first one here was the, the original jump here. So that was the beginning of the yard. Let me step back a minute. The first thing I tried to do was put in a pump track. So my neighbor to the side, Doug Dalton, he put in a pump track and he lived here first. He had a pump track over there. And so my dream was to build a pump track here. This is where the very first berm was. And as you can see in this picture, the dirt sucks. So the dirt that is in my lot, just on the ground, it's terrible. It's full of rocks. So I went to the local dirt yard, talked to the guy there, this guy Cody, and he actually grew up riding BMX. So he kind of had an idea for what I was looking for, which was awesome. And I basically made a combination with topsoil and clay and the right, just the right consistency so that the berms and jumps and everything would be durable. And once we built them, they would stay how they are. There's some chickens. They're checking out the berm. Hey, no walking on the tops of berms. You know the rules. Chickens, you gotta follow the rules too. Dirt jump, chickens. Don't be a chicken. Hit those jumps. <laughs> so the next thing I did after I found the right dirt was I just brought in literally as much as I could afford. That ended up being 40 dump truck loads of dirt. So at that point, we're up to 45 dump truck loads of dirt between the five back there, all of these landings, and all this pump track. Then my buddies Derek Thompson, who owns his own trail building company, Bryce Sachs, who now also owns his own trail building company, they came in with their machines. They helped move around dirt, shape things, get it how it needed to be. So now that I got the dirt, that's where Kelly McGarry comes in. So Kelly was one of our best friends. He was a Kiwi, New Zealand guy. You've seen him in Rampage. He was the guy that did the first big backflip. Absolute legend. Basically, he was a part of the family. My kids grew up with him. Uh, we miss you, Kelly. So before Kelly became a professional rider, he was a carpenter, a chippy, as they call him in New Zealand. He went on to build a bunch of the Crankworks courses. He built the Crankworks Rotorua course. And so these are all his lips that he built. So this is all his construction style and his trannies and every, transitions and everything. They look awesome, but more than that, they ride awesome. They're super fun and friendly and still good sized lips too. Starts out up there where the, uh, where the guest room is, uh, apartment above the garage. We got this two story rolling dropping in from the deck over the roller and straight off of this jump. So the line comes down, drop in from the rolling, first jump, second jump. Off this second lip, you have the option of going the main line, which goes straight and takes you into that hip right there. Call it number three or the hip. And that's usually everyone's favorite jump. And then the last jump is a mellow step up right hand hip as well, which takes us into the last berm. The other option up here is you transfer to the right, which is a fun floater. You land right here, then you go through and you hit the trick step up. So again, it looks pretty intimidating, but it's actually a bit shorter. 
and we keep the landing kind of chopped up so you can try tricks and stuff. So the pump track, that's been a really cool thing. I use it every time I ride for warm-ups. I have a little rule to where I'm not warmed up enough to hit the big jumps until I come through here and I actually manual through this whole line. So I pick up my front wheel right here and I manual all the way through. Once I do that, then I know I'm feeling good, ready to hit the big jumps. So when we were building the pump track, we were really careful to not disturb the sagebrush. We've got this awesome field full of sagebrush here and we really wanted to preserve that to keep the, just keep the character of the backyard how it is. I think that's really important. Since then, my kids have built a cool little fort right here. We've got a little wood cave built teepee style thing and they spend a lot of time hanging out in there. Because what kid doesn't love forts? Forts are the best, right? Yeah, so on the pump track, we got these doubles along here. We've got this uh, big berm, big Talladega berm in the back. Then once we get up here, I really love corners and berms and I wanted to have a kind of tight technical section that you have to commit to. So this is a bit of a table step up into this berm. Then this berm tends to give people trouble sometimes. So the GoPro flattens it out a little bit, but this is a tight corner. You really have to commit to it and ride the upper part of the line. And then it takes you around here to dive into the chicken coop berm and then back into the pump track or back up to the top. Here's chicken coop too. What up chicks? So these chickens, they lay an egg a day. How cool is that? Get free protein in the yard. Uh, pretty awesome. Along with the chickens, we got this big garden area here. We grow a ton of our food in this garden and it's awesome to be able to walk into the backyard, grab eggs, grab veggies from the garden and uh, have a meal from my own yard. But anyway, back to the yard. That's what you guys are here for. So you'll notice there's some water slides in the yard. That's pretty cool, huh? These water slides came here from Matt Berenger's house, who's a legendary pro BMXer, and he had one of the most legendary backyards of all time. It even, they even turned his yard into a flick tricks, like finger bikes, uh, toy set that you can buy at Toys R Us and stuff. So that's where these slides come from. And before Berenger's house, these slides were actually at a water park down in Salt Lake. So these are, I think they're from the 70s, 70s or 80s? Either way, these are some old slides. They're built out of fiberglass. These slides are a really fun addition to the yard. So again, when it's windy or when you're warming up or just playing around, you can come through, ride through these slides. It's like a bobsled run. We also got this quarter pipe here. So this also came from Behringer's house. This thing is a blast. Next season, as soon as the snow melts off, I'm gonna go through and we're gonna rebuild everything. We're getting more dirt. I'm gonna build a ton of new stuff. So there's gonna be a lot happening here next year. So stay tuned to the channel. I'm gonna keep on updating here. And then in the winter, when we get good snow here, we build slope style courses for the kids. So the kids will hike up these landings. They'll build jumps and rails and all kinds of stuff. So we get to play on this stuff in the winter as well. It's really fun. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Let me know if you have any ideas for what I should do, cool features I should build, that sort of thing. I'm coming up with ideas right now. We're gonna think about it all winter, see what we can build. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.